Okay. So in this video, uh, we will see dialogues. So in last two videos, we saw bottom sheet and then we saw date picker. Now this time we will see dialogue. Um, it's similar in a way uh, that we don't have we don't have widgets for that, but we have functions to invoke those widgets. So it's similar in that way. Um, otherwise, the whole concept is similar uh, is same also. Like we first detect which type of OS it is, and then we decide what type of picker, what type of bottom sheet, or in our case, in dialogues case, what type of dialog to open. So I will simply uh, I will make it fast this time. So. Uh, I will copy from previous uh, code as well. We will create a function show adaptive dialog dot dot. Uh, we will create a file and then we will simply go here. We will copy everything and paste it. Um, okay. Instead of date picker, we are going to replace it with dialog. Let's do that way first. And then obviously we don't require this much. Um, what we will do is we will say widget uh, what a dialog needs it needs title it needs a description and it also has uh, buttons right so these are minimum things that it needs obviously these are all required and we don't want to use this uh, instead of yes so we will supply these three things here as well. If you have not watched my previous videos related to this concept, I request you to watch all the videos and then come to this one so that you have complete context of how we are approaching adaptive widgets. Okay, so my widget is complete i will not do this I, I will simply remove this because this is a new video correct and uh, okay content fine so to give you an overview uh, we have um adaptive dialog function that we will be calling from adaptive list okay we will be calling show adaptive dialog and we'll be supplying context from here and we also will be giving some other values like what does it need oh sorry show adaptive dialog and then it requires a title a, a widget or which will represent as a title so we will say const um, okay one second text and we'll say uh, dialog title then it requires another widget which will be content so we'll say dialog content here and it will also have a list of strings that will act as um, button text so we are going to pass it like this so we are able to call this adaptive dialog function okay um, what is the problem here okay open material dialog open material dialog why is it giving me errors oh maybe yeah because this function is not properly closed so it is not able to understand this is also a function we will soon complete this so let's first work on cupertino thing um, we will be calling again show cupertino model pop-up and same context and we will be returning a widget from here um, this time that widget will be cupertino alert dialog and this cupertino alert dialog um, has a attribute called title a content and actions these actions are type of cupertino dialog action so we will be again generating list uh, uh, ge uh, generating a list uh, using buttons dot length because we have two buttons so we want that uh, length as well for every item we will be returning cupertino alert sorry 
Cupertino dialog action and it will have a child that child will be a text and it will be simply text which is supplied there okay so this is how it looks like something is wrong okay not a problem uh, we also want see this cupertino dialog action also has on pressed right which is nullable so it is you can supply on pressed function as well here so in on pressed you can say i want to simply navigator dot pop okay so this is it uh, this is for cupertino dialog now we will go to material dialog for material dialogs we have a function called show dialog okay and almost similar again it requires a context and uh, it, it it has a builder so we will be showing uh, we will be using alert dialog this time for cupertino we had cupertino alert dialog for this we have normal alert, alert dialog uh, the parameters are pretty similar so we'll say content content okay and then actions are also same so this time what i will do i will simply copy this why to write again uh, inside actions okay and i will format it so it's properly formatted now one thing to note here is that for material style of dialogues we don't have text directly instead we use text button right uh, text button will have a child which will be a text okay and then it will have on press functionality so that functionality can be similar okay so i think there are no errors in this file now great which is perfect now okay so both the uh, devices are ready if i click on alert dialog anyway i can click on anything but when i click on alert dialog it it opens a dialog with no and yes and these are my buttons right no and yes and the dialog closes because i have used navigator dot pop right uh, oh sorry i don't have to oh that's why it's looking bad uh instead of sorry i just have to remove this and use directly this one because it has opened probably it has opened uh, something else inside this so i will just uh, uh restart okay fine meanwhile meanwhile we see the ios application we click on cupertino alert dialog and it shows the alert dialog um if i click outside it goes back right so is there a is there a functionality to um, barrier sort of thing no so yeah it is supposed to work like that only and then if i click on alert dialog this is how the dialog looks like if i click outside it goes off right so in material uh, we can actually uh, stop uh, to close the dialog uh, when outside the dialog is pressed so we can use barrier dismissible and we can say false now when i reload the application or restart it i will click on this and if i click outside nothing is happening right nowhere uh, the dialog is uh, able to be closed so when i click on no or yes then only it will be popped out of the screen but same thing cannot be achieved um, as far as i know so this is how the dialogues are here right um yeah so this is it from this video and i hope you liked it if yes then you can share the whole playlist with your friends or in the community and uh, if you like this video only then you can like this and share it with your friends thanks for watching